okay virtualization technology that is a process of converting the physical it resource into virtual it resource we call it as a virtualization and then in this case the virtual resource may be a server that means virtual servers are there the most type of it resource can be virtualized here which type of it resource you are going to virtualize here you may virtualize the servers you may virtualize the storage you may virtualize the network and then you may virtualize the power that means you will converting the virtual machine imaginary virtual machines that is called here virtualization here uh, servers the physical server can be abstracted into virtual server we are coming to the storage we are already discussed those concept uh, how can you converting the physical server the types of virtualization in the in area of types of virtualization you converted the that concept and then the physical storage device can be abstracted into virtual storage device or virtual disk that is a storage virtualization and then network virtualization what about the network virtualization the physical routers switches can be abstracted into logical networks logical network fabrics such as a vlan virtual lans that is a network virtualization coming to the power virtualization the physical usb or power distribution unit can be abstracted into what what are commonly referred as a virtual usb here this is the, that means you will converting the these number of devices into virtual here in this section we focus on a the creation the creation of virtual servers and then the deployment of virtual servers by using server virtualization technology here you are creating the different virtual servers here this and then you are deploying the server only your concentration on these technologies that is a virtualization the creation of virtual servers what is the creation of virtual servers here the first step in creation of virtual server is a new virtual server by using virtualization software here uh, will you identify the virtualization software previously i explained the virtualization software hypervisor or vmm is a virtualization software that means you are going to creating the new virtual server by using virtual virtualization software this is called here hypervisor is a allocation of physical resources followed by the installation of operating system here in the, this software is a allocation of physical resources that means the process the process here, here is the creation how can you create the uh, virtual servers here that means first you have to allocating the physical resources physical server after that followed by the installation of operating system and then virtual server can use the desktop operating system the desktop operating system in the sense that is called here imaginary operating system or that is called here virtual operating system and uh, that means what the virtual that means you may create the in your system n number of operating system those operating systems are called as a virtual or guest operating system which are independent of operating system that means one uh, virtual one guest operating system not depends upon a other um, operating system that means in which they are created and then coming to the deployment here what are the steps in deployment here the virtualization software runs on a physical server physical server that means you are installing the physical you are installing the virtualization software the virtualization stall software you call it as a hypervisor here that kind of hypervisor installed on a physical server here this particular physical server you call it as a host to or physical host here that is a thing here whose hardware is made made available by the virtualization software the virtualization software functionality encompass the system services that are specifically related to virtual machine management and are not found on a standard operating system that is a main important thing and then coming to the this is why the software is sometimes referred as a virtual machine manager the software the intermediate software that means 
connectivity software connectivity between the, the physical hardware systems as well as the virtual systems that is called here virtual mission manager or simply call it as a virtual mission monitor but most commonly known as a hypervisor that means in this way you will deploy in the virtual servers on a physical mission here in this section you are going to cover in the some of the topics related to the virtualization technology the virtualization technology some of the topics here here what are the topics here hardware independence server console console consolidation and then resource replication hardware based virtualization and operating system based virtualization virtualization operate operation and management the technical and business, business considerations here these seven fifth, five six topics you are going to know about uh, this virtualization technology here first topic here hardware independent the virtualization servers can be moved to another virtualization host that means you are creating the one virtualization simple you can move to the auto automatically you can move to the another one why because the virtualization server is a simple file or a simple disk that means a simple file in the sense you would say having the port portability capabilities you can transfer one device to another device that means one physical host to another physical host one virtualization host to another virtualization host automatically resolving the multiple hardware software in in compatibility issues and then server console consolidation server consolidation in the sense share the one physical server is commonly used to increasing the hardware utilization load balancing optimization of available it resources that is a main purpose you are using the this technology here for increasing the hardware utilization the resulting flexibility is um, such that that means the different virtual server can run different guest operating system on the same host the resource replication replicating the resource how can you replicating the resource why because the virtual servers are binary files binary files are virtual disk images here virtual servers are created as a, as a virtual disk images virtual disk images in the sense simple file the binary files that consist of simple binary file on the hard disk content these virtual disk images are accessible to host operating system is it clear that means if you create if you create a one virtual operating system that's a accessible by using host operating system meaning sim simple file operation such as copy just copy just move paste can be used to replicate or migrate or backup the virtual server that means simple thing here no need to get the hardware requirement no need to get the anything here simply you will copy and or you may move from one system to another system that is a replication copy one system to other system that's a process called as a replication the resource replication the manipulation and the replication is one of the most salient feature of the virtualization technology in the replication having the different features what are the different features here creation of standardized virtual mission images gives the the increased agility in the migration deployment virtual virtual missions new instances able to roll back and support of business Uh, continuity with the efficient backup and restoration procedure that means it's having the different features are there that's why you are using that is a replication features the next important one operating system virtualization and hardware based virtualization we are coming to the operating system virtualization very important topic here operating system virtualization is a installation of what virtualization software in pre existing a uh, pre existing operating system which is called here host operating system that means previously we completed the task by using vmware already in my system i am having the one virtual mission vmware that means uh, vmware that means i am having one operating system windows 10 on top of the operating system you created a one virtual mission 
management that means one virtualization information virtualization software that means that is a hypervisor on top of the hypervisor you are going to creating the guest operating system as well as the different application the operating systems as well as the application together you call it as a virtual machine here uh, i am having the windows 10 on top of my operating system i am going to installing the uh, uh, linux operating system the linux operating system is a virtual machine on top of the windows 10 i am going to uh, installing the um, windows 7 operating system the windows 7 operating system here you call it as a virtual machine that means in this way you will be creating the n number of virtual machine in our, in our system in our system that is a thing here operating system based application on top of the operating system you are not having that means directly not installing the virtual machine software on the hardware not installing the virtual system software on the hardware that is a thing here in the operating system virtualization the hardware independent that is enabled by the virtualization allows the it resource to be more flexible to you the virtualization software translates the hardware it resources that are require unique software for the operations into virtualized it it resources that are compatible with the range of operating system here in this case here the system based virtualization is the is the the processing overhead here why because you are creating the operating system on top of the operating system you are going to creating the virtual machine that's why it create it creates a processing overhead the processing overhead required to run the virtualization software or host operating system here for running the virtualization software here you required some extra uh, uh, time here estimating monitoring managing the managing the resulting impact can be changing because it it requires expertise in a system workflows your software and hardware environment sophisticated monitoring tools that means there is a requirement is there once again repeat here on top of the operating system you are going to installing the virtual software that is called here operating system based virtualization here for examples the example of such services here is providing some services here services of operating system based virtualization backup and recovery integration to dictionary um, uh, services and then security management here these are some of the information and then operating system based virtualization can introduce the demands and issues here here related to the performance overhead it is it's considering here some of the issues related to the performance overhead but why because this kind of operating system based virtualization takes a more time overhead here what are the issues here the first issue here is a, it consumes cpu memory and other hardware it resources here the host operating system always consumes the, the cpu it hardware related operating system and then what are another uh, important issue in this case here is a decreasing the overall performance it going to decrease in the why because hardware related calls from the guest operating system needs to travel from several layers uh, to hardware or several layers from the hardware for the reason here it decreasing the overall performance and then other important thing here is if you want to run the uh, guest operating system you require the licenses are usually required for the host operating system in addition to individual license for the each and their guest operating system you required licenses for the host operating system you required licenses for the guest operating system that is a um, some we introduce the this kind of issues in a operating system based virtualization next important one hardware based virtualization here what is the hardware based virtualization you are installing the um, virtualization software virtualization software directly on the hardware is it clear or not here on top of the operating system the software operating system based virtualization in the sense on top of the operating system 
you previously you completed the task on top of the operating system only you install the other virtualization but here it is a different here here for the server based virtualization sometimes in order to reducing the overhead the some of the issues you are installing the virtual machine management or virtual machine um, management is simply called as a hypervisor directly on the hardware here that's called here if you directly on the hardware that's called here virtualization host here that means this option represent a virtualization of virtualization software here directly on the virtualization host hardware here you are installing the directly on the virtualization hardware so as to bypass the host operating system which which would be which would be engaged with the operating system based virtualization and then this hardware based you have one thing here in the operating system based virtualization you are installing the on top of the operating system virtual machine here directly on the hardware here allowing the virtual servers to interact with the hardware without requiring the uh, action from the host operating system but uh, we are not considering the host actions host operating system why because the guest operating system uh, not uh, the hypervisor directly installed on the uh, hardware that is a main advantage here the virtual agent software is typically referred as a hypervisor for this uh, type of processing hypervisor is a simple user interface that requires amount of storage space main issue of the hardware based virtualization here also having the some issues are there what is the issue here it's concerned with the compatibility with the hardware devices some devices supports that one some devices not supporting the this virtualization function that is a the another important um, topic here is a virtualization operation and management after that we will discuss about the technical and business considerations virtualization operation and management the modern virtualization software provides a several advanced management functions that can be automate administration and task and to reduce the overall operations burden on the virtualized it resources the virtualized it resource management is a supported by the virtualization infrastructure management tools that manage the virtual it resources and it depends upon a centralized management module that is a main thing in a virtualization operation and then the next important one here is the last one last important one in a virtualization technology technical and business consideration here for using this virtualization technology you are considering the some of the issues here performance overhead issue a special hardware compatibility that means you got a, some of the issues are there and then portability issues the portability also one of the uh, business consideration here performance overhead here what is the performance overhead here the virtualization may not be ideal the virtual it because it takes a lot of time you are uh, starting the uh, host operating system after that you are going to starting the virtual uh, virtualization operating system that takes a overhead here not ideal the virtualization may not be ideal for the complex system that have a high workload with the little use of resource sharing and replication the next important one is a special hardware compatibility many hardware vendors that distributes a specialized hardware may not have a device drivers version that are compatible with the virtualization software and then portability the programmatic and the management in, uh, interfaces that establish the administration environments for virtualization program to operate with the various virtualization solutions that can introduce the gaps between the that means gaps due to the incompatibility that is a one of the issue here portability issue in a virtualization technology that means the programmatic management interfaces that establish in the administration environment for the virtualization program but uh, to operate with the various virtualization solution that can introduce the portability gap here due to the incompatibilities that is a virtualization technology here in the next class we will discuss about the web technology okay ma thank you